Hello, my name is Troy, and I'm going to show you how to make a Go Animate. Uh, as you saw at the top there, you can you need to go to Create after you created an account, which there should be a sign up sign. Once you get here, you can pick a theme. You can either do this tutorial, which will probably show you more than this, and pick a theme that you really like that would really go well with your movie. Right now, I'm looking through the little. Street Fighter and Willie Nelson and choose the original Go Animate characters. Just pick whichever one that you like. They all have their own characters. And it's gonna initialize. While it's initializing, just wait for it. If you got fast internet it won't take a long time. Just gotta prepare for the video. Click this button right here if you want to use the backdrop. Here's all your characters to the far left. But if you want to change the background, you can always go here. They have a lot, a lot of backgrounds that you can use. You can scroll through them. If you like that one, use that one. But I want to change it. So I'm going to use a boxing ring. This is just a quick little tutorial. So just how to know the basics. But. After you pick the backdrop, there's props right there that you can look at. I'd suggest doing this after. You can pick characters that you want and just scroll through them. Pick whichever one that you want. Put them, you can put them where you want. And change the width, the height. Do whatever you want with your little character. Pick another character if you want another one. I'm gonna use this guy. Yeah, there's a bunch of all oh, movement. You can make them walk. Right there is how to flip. There's actions. There's things that you can do like emotion, walking, sliding. I'm gonna make him walk over here so he can. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and walk over there to him. Help you for my first part. When you're done with that, you gotta go to add scene so they can have more actions. It's, if you just put in the one, it'll just show the last one that they put in. But here, right here, I'm gonna make him cry. You can see he's crying now. And here you can get your little chat bubbles. chat bubbles you gotta edit them like that you can also edit the width and height and flip it over change it into a different area you can type in your own you can change the font down there type in your own little whatever you want them to say I'm gonna make him angry now there's a bunch of different emotions that you can use you can add effects or music right here by clicking this button just go up here and look around. Scroll through all these if you want. There's effects, music, and voiceovers, but there's nothing really there unless you put your own voice in. Yeah, there's also some kind of way that you can add your own stuff, like music, but I couldn't find that, so sorry. So here's the voiceover area. Nothing really there unless you add it yourself. Right now I'm going to put a prompt. Oh, I already put in the whale sound effect. But I'm going to get a prompt now. I'm going to use this ninja star. Put it on the cop's hands. Because he's angry. He's angry at the doctor. No. If you read that, you just want it on that character. You just say no, just this character. If you want it on both, then you can have it on both. You can have effects like zoom, sparkle, all these other things. Edit the zoom just like the width and height thing with the characters. Uh, I'd move that. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, make it sure it's pointing to the person you wanted to talk to. Otherwise, it's going to be all confusing for everybody. There. Edit the area you want to zoom. Add new scene. So that scene. 
in here. Like delete the zoom just by clicking over to FX and press delete. I forgot to make them walk. Movement walk. Now you probably wouldn't want to walk them that way if you go out and see them. But there's me editing the movement. Adding a new scene. He's still crying. Doctor's not really doing anything. Here you can make him do actions and whatever you want him to do. Actions, I'm going to go to uh, point prop at to make it look like it's kind of hurting him. Just to let you know, I'm not really good at Go Animate, so this is just a basic tutorial. And just showing you all the basics. I'm going to make him sit down now. Add a new scene. We'll look at the, um, or just right now I'm looking at different effects. And when you're done with the movie, you gotta go to, I really shouldn't have added that new scene, but if when you're done with the movie, just go up to preview. It'll initialize it, you can save it. I'll go back to edit. If you think you're done, you can just save it. It's easy as that. I'll be published and everybody can see it. Okay, here's my little animation that I just made. It's pretty easy to make. Just work at it for a while and you'll get better at it. There's a little delay there. I wish that wasn't like that. But that's pretty much how you do use Go Animate.